10 brawlers are getting their second gadget sometime in the next few weeks. That means that they will be complete with their two gadgets and two star powers. And for today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Pam, Lou, Rico, Spike, and Sandy's abilities. We'll briefly explain how their gadgets and their star powers work. And after that, we're gonna talk about their best builds, namely their best star power and best gadget. First, let's talk about Sandy, then we'll cover Spike. Sandy's new gadget is Sweet Dreams. After this gadget is activated, brawlers that are hit by his next attack are put to sleep and cannot move or shoot for one point five seconds. However, if they receive damage from any source during that time, they'll immediately wake up. At first, I thought that this gadget actually wouldn't be that great, but after thinking about it more, I've realized that it actually has a lot of uses in different types of situations. One example is using the gadget in game modes where taking out a target is really important, but Sandy doesn't have the DPS to do it. Like in gem grab, Sandy can put a gem carrier to sleep and then wait for his teammates to get close enough to take him out. The fact that it can affect multiple targets is actually really good as well, especially because Sandy's really Really good on modes like hot zone where enemy teams tend to bunch up. If Sandy puts an entire team to sleep for 1.5 seconds, chances are they're going to wake up with a huge disadvantage. One unique thing about Sandy is that he has a super fast unload speed, which means that he can put somebody to sleep, reload his ammo, and then burst down their remaining health. Now, because Sandy can deal 5,152 damage with four ammo, Sandy can pretty much throw two ammo, use his gadget, put them to sleep with his third, reload a fourth, and take out way more brawlers in 1v1 situations. Now, before we get into the rest of the video, I wanted to go over a really cool event that's actually happening in the Brawl Stars community right now. The ESL Mobile Challenge is starting its first season and features some of the best teams in North America and Europe. If you're someone that wants to get better at the game or you just want to watch Brawl Stars being played at the absolute highest level, I recommend that you check it out. After all, one of the best ways to get better at the game is to actually learn from the pros. Broadcasts are happening every week and the program has over $300,000 in prizes just this year. I'm gonna leave a link to their channels in the description below and you guys absolutely need to check it out. And to celebrate, ESL is launching a giveaway with over $1,000 worth of prizes. 10 lucky winners are gonna walk away with $100 Visa gift cards, which you can use to spend on literally anything. Or you could use it to buy enough Brawl Passes that are gonna last you for the next two years. Now on top of that, and in the spirit of friendly competition, myself and Clash of Clans creator Judo Sloth, who's actually a really good friend of mine, are going to have a bit of a challenge between ourselves. When you enter the giveaway, you can actually select which creator you want to support, and the creator with the most entries will get another $1,000 to give away for their community. Let me know what kind of giveaway you want in the comment section below. And of course, check out the link in the description below for a link to that giveaway and go support the Kairos Time community by voting for me. And while you're at it, subscribe to the ESL channel so you don't miss some awesome competition. Thanks to ESL for sponsoring this video and also for making all of this possible. I love Brawl Stars competition, so this is really great. Let's jump back into the video. Sandy's first gadget is Sleep Stimulator. This gadget puts Sandy to sleep for two seconds and then he replenishes 100% of his health. If Sandy's unable to heal because he's like burned or poisoned, this gadget actually really comes in clutch. It's also good to use just if he needs to fully heal quickly. If Sandy is defeated or knocked back while asleep, then the gadget stops working and is wasted, so it's a good idea to take cover in a bush or hide in his super before using this. I personally think Sleep Stimulator is the better gadget since it saves a lot of time healing, which allows him to either keep pushing forward or just maintain map control. Sandy's first star power is Rude Sands. This star power deals 100 damage per second to all enemies inside Sandy's super. Since this star power consistently deals damage in a large area, it's actually really great for seeing where enemies are hiding while also preventing them from healing on important targets like the hot zone. Sandy's second star power is healing wins. Sandy and friendly brawlers heal 300 health per second while inside his super. Now his super lasts 9 seconds so it's possible for your whole team to heal 2,700 health each which is pretty solid. This is especially helpful for tankier brawlers since they really need their health to move forward and they usually want to stay inside the super anyway because it adds great cover for a tank. Healing wins heals 3 times the amount that rude sand steals damage so I think it's generally the better star power right now. So what is Sandy's best build? Using his sleep stimulator gadget is a lot easier to use while inside Sandy's super. Super. Healing Winds allows him to stay inside that super easier, and so it's generally the better star power. And that means that Sandy's best build is his Sleep Stimulator gadget with his Healing Wind star power. And of course, because best builds aren't complete without their skins, Lantern Sandy is my personal favorite. Next, we're going to talk about Spike, and then we'll talk about Lou. Spike's new gadget is Life Plant. When activated, Spike places down a cactus as an obstacle with 3,500 health, but that's not the only benefit that it gives. Once the cactus is destroyed, it heals Spike and all all friendly brawlers that are near it for 1,000 health. This is a great gadget that can tank for Spike because it actually has more health than Spike does. Plus, it can 
buy Spike some time for him to be able to reload some ammo and hopefully win some 1v1 situations, especially against close range brawlers like Bull or Daryl or Shelly. One thing to keep in mind is that this gadget is less effective against brawlers that can deal damage against multiple targets like Terra or M's. However, the healing effect will still be beneficial for Spike regardless of who he's facing. This gadget allows Spike to stay in spots where he normally wouldn't be able to for longer, especially against enemies who deal single target damage. Spike's first gadget is Popping Pincushion. He shoots three waves of spikes in every direction and each one deals 520 damage. Popping Pincushion doesn't do a lot of damage far away, but it can be devastating in heist, siege, or in close range combat. It can also be used to clean up brawlers that survive with very little health after Spike has depleted all of his ammo. I think that Life Plant is generally the better choice just because it can be used more effectively on a lot more maps and in a lot more situations. Spike's first star power is Fertilize. This star power allows Spike to heal 800 health for every second that he's inside his super. This improves Spike's close range combat so much since the only problem he has up close is his lack of health. Spike's second star power is Curveball. With this star power, each Spike from his main attack curve in a circular rotation, which makes them harder to avoid. It also allows Spike to hit brawlers around obstacles in spots that he normally wouldn't be able to. Now, in my opinion, Curveball is the better star power most of the time since it affects Spike's main attack, which is used a lot more than his super, so you end up getting a lot more use out of it. So now let's talk about Spike's best build. Now, I would say that Curveball belongs with Spike's best build, but his fertilized star power not only helps Spike heal himself, but also heals his life plant cactus. This makes Spike so much harder to defeat from any range if he has a supercharge and he plants down his cactus. This means that Spike's best build is his life plant gadget paired with his fertilized star power. And his best skin hands down has to be Dark Lord Spike, though Sakura Spike has a special place in my heart. Now we're gonna talk about Lou and then we'll cover Rico. Lou's new gadget is Cryo Syrup. Any brawlers inside Lou's super get 50% of their freeze meter instantly added to them whenever this gadget is activated. If brawlers are already over 50% freezing, they will instantly freeze, which can allow Lou to make some really great plays, especially against more than one brawler at a time. Just knowing that Lou might have this gadget equipped will make enemies think twice before jumping into Lou's super, which has its own impact by itself. Lou's super has always been one of the best for controlling areas, but now with this gadget, he's gonna be able to throw down his super right on brawlers, freeze them instantly, and defeat them. And this is gonna be incredibly useful useful on Hot Zone where Lou was already super strong. And in Gem Grab, it's gonna allow him to take out gem carriers a bit too close to the gem mine when Lou has his super ready. This also has a lot of potential for offense and defense in Brawl Ball, and I have a feeling this is going to be really strong in Basketball and Volleyball as well. The fact that this gadget pairs so well with both of his star powers is another reason why I think it has so much potential. Lou's first gadget is Ice Block. When Lou uses this gadget, he freezes in place and becomes totally invincible for one second, obviously with the drawback that he cannot move while this gadget is active. This is the perfect for tanking single attacks that deal lots of damage, like Tick supers or Nani supers or even Dynamite supers. It can even be used to let enemy brawlers waste all of their ammo on Lou if they aren't expecting Lou to activate this, but this actually happens less and less often in higher level play. I think that Cryo Syrup is the better gadget because it makes Lou a more offensive brawler, which makes him better at controlling maps, not to mention the fact that this gadget helps his whole team instead of just himself. Lou's first star power is super cool. This star power gradually freezes enemies as long as they are in Lou's super. This adds more power to Lou's super and gives enemy brawlers even more reason to steer clear from it. Lou's second star power is Hypothermia. This star power slows enemies' reload speed up to 75%, depending on how full their freeze meter is. With its recent buff, Hypothermia might actually be looking like the better star power here, slowing down the reload speed of brawlers that already have a slow reload speed like Tick or Piper or Squeak can virtually shut them down. However, if Lou slows a brawler's reload speed at 75%, it doesn't matter which brawler it is, they're gonna suffer. So then what is Lou's best build? Well, Cryo Syrup actually pairs with Hypothermia very well, because even if you can't totally freeze an enemy with Cryo Syrup, you're still going to slow down their reload speed a ton, which means that his gadget will always be useful if it hits. Because of this, I think that Lou's best build is absolutely his Cryo Syrup gadget with his Hypothermia star power, which I'm actually really excited for because I haven't played Hypothermia in a long time. Also for my favorite skin, it's a bit of a tough call between Smooth Lou and Burger Lou, but we'll go with Burger Lou now because it's new. Other
Up next is Rico, then we'll cover Pam's best build. Rico's newest gadget is Bouncy Castle. Once this gadget is triggered, Rico's next attack heals him 300 HP every time one of his projectiles bounce. I should mention that hitting an enemy does not count as a bounce, so you'll want to bounce his shots off of a wall to utilize this gadget or it will be wasted. Aiming his attack so that each projectile bounces once will heal Rico for 1,500 HP. And in order for Rico to fully heal, you'll need to aim his shots so that the projectiles bounce three times. I like to compare this gadget to Byron's shot in the arm gadget because it also uses an ammo to heal. However, Rico can use this to, for healing and dealing damage if he bounces his shots correctly. And if you want to use it strictly for healing, you can aim your attack to get as many bounces as possible. And in this situation, Rico's gadget offers way more healing than Byron's can, and it brings him up to full health as long as each projectile bounces three times. We all know that Rico provides a ton of control on choke points in a lot of maps, so being able to heal while continuing to fire shots makes this a very good gadget for him to have since he won't have to fall back to heal up. This gadget may not be able to help him much against brawlers that deal lots of damage quickly, but it will be helpful in long range fights where little damage is consistently being dealt. Rico's first gadget is Multi Ball Launcher. When this gadget is used, Rico fires a couple of waves of bouncy balls in every direction. Similar to Spike's popping pin cushion gadget, this gadget can be used to deal lots of damage instantly to very close targets. It can also be used as an effective way to check grassy areas when you're not sure where the enemy is. I think that Bouncy Castle is still the better gadget of the two, since it makes it so Rico doesn't have to fall back as much. Rico's first star power is Super Bouncy. This star power adds 124 damage to every projectile that has bounced off a wall, including projectiles from his super. This damage boost absolutely shreds through enemy brawlers and is especially useful against tankier brawlers that don't have a way to get closer to Rico like a jumper or something like that. Rico's second star power is Robo Retreat. With this star power equipped, Rico moves 34% faster when his health drops below 40%. This improves Rico's evasion so much, and sometimes it's actually worth it to just shoot at nothing so that Rico doesn't heal so that he can keep his crazy speed. This star power is particularly good against throwers because Rico's able to dodge their shots so much easier. Now his super bouncy star power I definitely think is better on a few maps, but overall I think Robo Retreat is the better star power since Rico becomes so much harder to hit. And and that allows him to make some really important escapes. Now let's talk about his best build. Rico's another brawler where it simply comes down to picking the better gadget and better star power, and that makes Rico's best build his super bouncy gadget paired with his Robo Retreat star power. With that said, Rico's gadget will put his Robo Retreat to a screeching halt, so use it wisely. As for skins, Rico has a lot of really great ones. I personally keep coming back to Popcorn Rico, so I'll pick that one for this video. <laughs> Finally, we have Pam. Pam's new gadget is Scrap Sucker. When activated, each projectile from Pam's next attack will remove 25% of the maximum ammo from any brawler that they hit. So it takes four out of nine of her projectiles to completely bring an enemy from full ammo all the way down to zero. Now on top of that, Pam gains 50% of the total ammo that was removed, which means that bringing an enemy down to zero ammo will reload half of Pam's ammo bar. Because this gadget affects an enemy's maximum ammo, it's pretty much useless against B or Carl since they reload their ammo so quickly. And it's especially effective against brawlers like Amber because because she takes a long time to reload her ammo. In a 1v1 fight, this gadget can absolutely be the reason why Pam wins against most brawlers, but it does require that she hits her shots on whoever she's facing. And one thing to note is that this gadget is not useful against enemies who have unloaded their shots already, so you'll want to keep track of how much ammo they are using if you want to really utilize this gadget. Because of this, her new gadget requires a high level of skill to fully utilize. Pam's first gadget is Pulse Modulator. Brawlers that are standing inside Pam's healing turret will instantly receive 1,200 health when this gadget is triggered. This is a great gadget because Pam can use it to quickly heal herself up a bit, and it can be used to help teammates as well. I think that although Pam's new Scrap Sucker gadget can make a very big difference, her Pulse Modulator gadget is more useful in more situations. And on top of being more useful more often, it's also much less of a risk to use. Pam's first star power is Mama's Hug. This star power heals herself and nearby brawlers whenever her projectiles hit an enemy brawler for 48 health per projectile. Now, for reference, if an entire attack hits an enemy, she'll heal for 432 health. And if three entire attacks hit an enemy, she and nearby teammates will heal for 1,296 health. It's not a lot of healing, but over an entire match, it can absolutely be beneficial. Now, her second star power is Mama's Squeeze. With this star power equipped, Pam's healing turret deals 800 damage per second to enemy brawlers that are within its range. Obviously, enemies can just clear the turret so they don't take damage, but if it's positioned behind a wall, this star power can actually add a 
lot of control to the field. Out of the two star powers, Mama Squeeze is definitely the better option right now because it helps control the field and honestly 800 damage per second can be a lot of damage to the enemy team, especially if they don't immediately take the turret out. So what is Pam's best build? Pam's best build really comes down to which gadget and star powers are better. Pam's second star power is pretty much the better option in most situations right now, and I can see an argument for her new scrap sucker gadget in 1v1 situations, which means it could be useful in solo showdown, but honestly I don't see it being as useful as her pulse modulator gadget, and that means that Pam's best build is her pulse modulator gadget with her mama squeeze star power, and then obviously her only skin, Holiday Pam. Those are the best builds for Pam, Lou, Rico, Spike, and Sandy, and there are five more brawlers that are still getting their second gadgets as well that we need to cover, namely Stu, Gale, Colonel Ruffs, Leon, and Edgar. So make sure you guys subscribe for that. So make sure you guys subscribe for that so you don't miss it. And until that video is released, you guys can check out more videos right there. And if it already has been released, chances are it might actually show up there anyway. <laughs> make sure you guys use code Kairos in the Brawl Stars shop. Thank you so much for watching. For now, this is Kairos. I'm ticking by. We will see you in Brawl Stars.